What's going on fellas? I've got a 2004 Ford Explorer here. I'm going to use it to point out to you how to change your brake light switch. And also I'm going to show you a few things to troubleshoot if your brake lights aren't coming on. So the first important thing for you to know, there is a fuse for that uh, for the brake light power. And it's going to be a little 15 amp fuse under the hood. This one right here. So you'll want to check that if none of your brake lights are coming on. Obviously if the fuse is blown, you're going to want to replace it. So that's the fuse. Now, as far as the brake light switch itself, I'll show you how to change that real quick. Real simple. So look down here at the brake pedal. The switch itself is going to be on the left-hand side. So right up in there, you can see there's like a green, green plastic safety thing on here. You can just pop that off and that's gonna reveal a clip, another green clip. So the green clip is gonna have to come off first and you can just pull that off with some needle nose or you can pull it off with your hands. So that's the clip. With the clip removed, the push rod that goes to the brake booster is free to move about. So you can pull that, at which point your switch will come right off. So we're gonna get the switch down and just a simple connector here on the switch. Now, uh, what's interesting, you can actually test this switch if you disconnect it you can put just a paper clip to connect the two pins together and if your brake lights come on at that point then you know that the rest of the circuit is working fine now another thing for you to keep in mind with this vehicle is when the power is sent through this switch when you're hitting the brakes some of the power goes directly to your third brake light the other power will actually go to your hazard switch, your multifunction switch assembly here. And if there's a problem with that switch, you may have a situation where your third brake light comes on when you hit the brakes, but none of the uh, left or right lights come on. And if that's the case, you may have to replace that switch. So uh, anyways, here's, here's our old part here. The new part just goes on pretty much the opposite the way that this one came off. Uh, there is a bushing that comes out as well, so you'll want to put that back on. So yeah, that just about covers it. Let me know if you guys have any questions, and uh, or more importantly, if you have any advice about testing the system. But yeah, you can connect these two pins together with a paper clip as a way to test it. So yeah, thanks for watching.